Since we started living in our Prius, this box has dragged down the ground about a dozen times. So today we are taking our Prius in to get professionally lifted and hopefully it doesn't look too silly in the meantime. Good morning, Elk. How are you doing? See, this is kind of what's crazy about living on the road is some days you just wake up and there's a field of elk behind you. So today Leah and I are putting a lift kit in our Toyota Prius. <laughs> but where we are going to get this lift kit is in Chico, California, which is over five hours from where we are currently, so. Road trip day. It's a road trip day. So we have Google mapped our route to Chico, California, um, and then we got this notification. If you can see, there's a whole bunch of fires all around the northern route that takes us there the fastest. The alternative is an additional hour and 20 minutes. Road trip day! <laughs> <laughs> So we have been parked here for how long? Probably about 15, 20 minutes. Apparently just before we arrived there was a power surge and uh, all the electricity went out. And so- it's so hot. Yeah, the pumps don't work and uh, we don't have enough gas to make it to the next gas station because- is... The next service is in 98 miles. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, vehicles waiting. Basically everybody who comes up who wants gas, we just tell them the situation, they just keep moving on, but uh, we don't really know what the power outage looks like down the valley, so we're kind of just stuck here. What's our situation? Well, we're trying to get it back on. It's never done this to us before, so it could be, a, I'm just gonna say a half hour. Oh wow. And we have to shut everything down, let it set. Is there any way to know if the next gas station down the road is affected too or so Levi went inside and they looked at a phone book to figure <laughs> out where the closest place is could you call them yeah and we we called them on the landline excellent and they have gas but they're 20 miles back down the road that we just came down so we're gonna a little 40 mile detour yeah very close to the gas station we think but this is slowing us down thoughts It's perfect. <laughs> but I'm feeding Levi chips, so it's okay. All right, so we found the little outpost gas station. Um, and I honestly have never been so happy to see a fuel station in my life. We just rolled up to this Love's truck stop. It was an absolutely brutal drive, honestly. Uh, just the windiest road, the hottest conditions. Having a double bag just took the wind out of us. Tonight we are staying at a truck stop because I want to conduct an experiment. I want to run the AC all night, but I want to know how much that costs every time that we do it. So we're going to fill up the car to the max before we go to bed, go and park, run it all night, and then come back in the morning and fill it up to see what the difference is. This is a justifiable thing to do right now because it's currently 34 degrees and about 8 p.m. at night and it's not supposed to go down to much below 30 until 6 a.m. So it's gonna be a hot one. Okay, so this is the spot for the night. We are right in front of the Denny's which is connected to the Loves. If you are wondering what that noise is, it is the literal thousands of birds that are in all of these little trees around here. They swarm in flocks that are like so massive. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Oh my God, what the f dude, this is... <laughs> well, nobody's gonna hear our car turning on and off. Nope. <laughs> oh my, what? Oh, look at all these birds. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, 
This is gonna be so calming and relaxing. We should sleep in a truck stop more often. The staff's really nice though. <laughs> Honestly, the experience of Love's, it was lovely. We have really nice people, super clean bathrooms. I think I might have a shower in the morning. Oh man. So far, so successful. We'll see how the evening goes. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Okay, last night's sleep. Oh, uh, like a five out of 10. I don't know if you can hear that, the <laughs> your shower is ready. Continue to shower four. Yeah, there's a lot of announcements that happen at a truck stop. There's a lot of traffic at a truck stop. But you feel relatively safe, right? Yeah. There's lots of people doing the same thing as you. And we actually got cold in the night because yeah. of the AC being on. We had to like put a blanket over us. Yeah, so uh, let's see how much gas we used. All right, here we go. So, it looks like that costs us just about $5. Let's see if we can top it up a little bit. All right, so five bucks to run the car all night long. And we charge our battery by like 40%. True. All right, so we're just making a quick breakfast wrap outside of Prius Off-Road where we are going to lift our Prius. A sentence that still kind of makes me giddy. <laughs> what an odd and hilarious concept. So this guy's got a lift in his truck. This truck's got a lift in it. And uh, eventually this little car is also gonna get a lift in it. <laughs> we have the same color Prius, man. No, we're identical by the time we leave. Wow. All right, so this is Eric. He is the founder, owner of Prius Off-Road, right? Yes, sir. I, I guess that's a business that people it's require. Quite, it's quite the oxymoron, man. <laughs> Never thought in my life I'd be doing it, but here we are. Oh my god. Let's let, I want to see your, your yeah, Prius. Check it this out. looks amazing. This is actually the exact same version of our car, just you've already put the lift in it. Yep, lift and tires. Oh well, man. You guys got a hitch. <laughs> pretty, uh, it's pretty comical. When I first did it, you know, I thought people were going to be making fun of it and people kept leaving notes on my car and stopped me at intersections and gas stations and, can you lift mine? And I'm like, you're kidding, right? Like, you're, you're making kidding. fun of me. But, <laughs> but no, there's apparently a huge market for it and I never wow. in my life thought I'd be here, but I'm stoked to be doing it. spacer that we did prior to having our springs. Um, this is still an option on our website, but if you want to upgrade to the HD springs, these are what we offer now. And these are designed for carrying about 200 pounds of tongue weight on back. So that right. amount goes up if it's inside the car, but obviously the further back it goes, the more leverage it has. Um, so 200 pounds is kind of like the sweet spot, you know, two e-bikes, yeah. um, a bike rack, or a cargo carrier and stuff like that. So wow. these completely replace OEM springs. Um, yeah, so and far. they look better too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There it is. Okay. It doesn't look that crazy, but it is significantly higher. Thank you. 
So we are just waiting in a lineup to get back to the coast and we are going to have a little surprise for Leah. Levi has just told me that there's a surprise. Like, that's it. You haven't said anything else other than, don't look at the Google Maps. Okay. Is it still going to be a surprise? Are you going to tell me right now? No, I'm not going to tell you right now. You're going to see it when we get there. When we get there, we're going to see it? <laughs> so I was just told by some of you that there is a glass beach in Fort Bragg. Leah loves beach glass, so we're going to go there and surprise her with that. Hopefully it's awesome. Okay, so you're gonna have to close your eyes again, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, we. this is so cool. Oh, oh sorry, slight uphill. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm taking care of you. I'm just very distracted by what we're looking at right now. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. I'm so sorry, you will see this in a second. <laughs> yeah, just, just stand there, just stand there. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. She's really into the glass beaches thing. Uh -huh. Wait, where, how do we get down to what? it? Well, this is probably one way right here. Oh, so we gotta get down there. Look at her, she's standing there. Yes. <laughs> okay, I think I think you can kinda open your eyes. Oh wow. Too bad we can't swim in it without being very, so very cold. cold. Look at those weights. Oh, one of them just opened. What? Where are you doing? <gasps> 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 Look at it all! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just want to like start shoving in my pockets. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my god. So there must be a special title. Whoa, I haven't seen that color one before. <laughs> What's that? We're setting up our little picnic Yay! for the night with just a absolutely stunning view. Uh, so when you get a lift kit on your Prius, you have to test it out. Literally, Levi spent a decent amount of day being like, where's well, gonna be a good dirt road for us to go on? I'm like, all right, let's go. So we found something that I think might be a pretty interesting test. <laughs> so this is a dirt road we have found with a pretty serious divot through the middle. I wouldn't have tried this with the car the way that it was normally. No, we did go on some gnarly dirt roads, you know. And we scraped a few times. I, I don't know. So this is a pretty steep grade, and I don't know. I, I'd say this is about like a foot. Yeah, it's hard to like kind of see. Like you can kind of see now the divot now that you're standing there. And I'm never normally taller than Levi, but if he's there and I'm here, this is a good representation of the <laughs> of the slope. scientific methods we have going on here. <laughs> I figured we'd go down forward just to like give it a, a, a bit of a test run before we go up. Okay. Is it good? It, it's up over that, yep. Oh. Your back tire just slid a little bit, but otherwise. Okay, all right, let's see if we can go up now. Oh my God. Levi's doing this and not me. Okay, take two. He's got a bit more speed. Oh! 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 It is a steep grade. So, but but the car isn't actually hitting on the bottom on the bumps, right? Like it's just the wheels are spinning. Doesn't look like it. You got farther this time. All right, well, our off-road adventures were not uh, completely successful. <laughs> but... 
It's definitely way more capability than what it had before, though. Yeah. And you did get quite close. Genuinely impressed, though, with uh, the Prius off-road lift kit, though. It gives the car a lot more versatility, especially when you have stuff mounted on the back. I mean, we have 150 pounds of weight hanging off the back of the car, and this new suspension, which is soon to be released on Prius Off-Road, if you wanna go check that out, really makes a huge difference because we had a real sag going on the back of the car, as you can yeah. see from old footage, and now the car sits perfectly level, even with a full load and like our water jug and everything. Yeah, it's actually really nice to drive too. Like literally the first time I was driving it around Chico, I was saying to Levi, I'm like, am I in a RAV4? Like, is this an SUV? <laughs> la la. Like you feel that just a little bit higher off the ground and just a bit more capable, especially, I mean, dirt roads are great. Even just getting in and out of parking yeah. lots with a really like steep curb, Oh, this has been so nice. Have not scraped the bottom now, and so I can just breathe. People have had concerns about the fuel economy that would be affected with a lift like this, and uh, according to Eric and apparently lots of the clients that he has done this for, no real discernible difference in fuel economy. More so what lowers your fuel economy is the bigger tires that people often put on their Priuses after they do a lift like this. Um, so the damage has probably been done because we're running more wintry style tires. But overall, super stoked about this lift kit and I think it's gonna be really helpful for the rest of our journey, Mexico included. I think the great thing is too is that it isn't super noticeable. Like you would not know that this mm -hmm. car had a lift in it unless you were like in the know. So you yeah. can just drive around, we can still do stealth parking and things like that. And people are like, oh wait, is that a lift of press? But anyways, uh, if you are interested, of course, we have to give a shout out to Prius Offroad and Eric. He really made this whole thing happen and he's just a great guy. We loved hanging out with him. So give him some love, support what he is doing down in the description below. And if you like our videos, literally like it and uh, subscribe if you wanna hang out with us every Saturday. See, we're gonna take this Prius next. Bye everyone.